Hello, I decided to create this video in Hiron's Boot CD uh, for anyone that's new to systems and new to uh, circumventing security on computers in order to access the data inside. I was working on some older computers this weekend that I had in my garage and um, some of them had Windows XP on them and I didn't remember the uh, Windows administrative password so I used uh, Hiron's Boot CD version uh, 12.5 uh, I believe it was or 12.2 in order to uh, circumvent the uh, administrative password or actually reset that so I can get back into the box and uh, look at the data. So uh, here's how you do that. Well here's a dilemma. You boot into your Windows operating system and hey you don't remember your password. What do we do? Well we're going to use the Hirens boot disk in order to change the password or delete that password so you can log in easily. So what you do is reboot the system with the Hirens disk in your CD-ROM drive or a USB drive. I'll teach you how to create that later on in another video. And uh, it's going to go ahead and boot. And what you're going to select is offline NT2000 XP Vista 7 password changer mode. And then you're going to press enter on this particular spot to go ahead and continue to boot the Linux operating system that lies underneath Hirons. It's going to ask you what drive we're working on. It's going to select automatically the right one, so go ahead and press enter. And then it's going to ask you where it can find the path to the registry in Windows in which directory. The default is fine most of the time. And then it's going to ask you what you want to do. And we're going to say reset password by using the default. And then we're going to go ahead and edit the user data and password. Now it's asking us what user we want to edit. Administrator will be there by default. Go ahead and change that first. We'll click one and it resets the password. You can see it says password cleared. And then we're going to go ahead and try the next user, which is just user. And we're going to clear that password with the number one option and it clears the password. At this point, you can quit. Um, it's going to ask you to save the details that you've just changed. You're going to want to go ahead and do that. The Hirons does error out for some reason for me. I'm not sure if that happens for everyone, but it acts like it's not saving the changes, but it actually does. And then when you exit out of the software, you'll just reboot your system again. And what should happen if it's Windows XP is it'll automatically come up, and if you've cleared those passwords, it will log right in to the Windows operating system without you having to mess with it. If you've changed the password, then you'll go ahead and type in your new password that you've changed it to and enter the operating system. At that point, basically, it's, it's uh, sky's the limit. You can uh, do anything you need to do, back up your software, get the drive ready uh, for a new operating system. Uh, if, you've, if this has been helpful for you, go ahead and click like or subscribe. I plan on having many videos into the future, hopefully technical in nature, also uh, some other things like art and uh, video games.